Well, a historic number of babies and toddlers with respiratory synactical virus are being admitted in Southern Colorado hospitals. Children's Hospital here in Colorado Springs says its pediatric intensive care units and emergency departments are filling up this week. CARDIO News Channel 13's Andrea Herrera is live outside of Children's Hospital right now. She spoke with a family whose 11 month old is one of the many very young children hospitalized with RSV right now. Andrea, how is the baby doing this afternoon? Bart Riley Cecilio Vasquez's daughter was hospitalized for 12 hours. She's now at home recovering from RSV, but even after two weeks of being hospitalized, she's still dealing with the side effects. Cecilio Vasquez and his wife are new parents. Their top priority, keeping baby Zaley happy and healthy. But in late November, Zaley became sick. The first, the first day it was a runny nose, and then we thought it was just a common cold. Like, I would say the fourth or the fifth day was one of the hardest ones because we kind of noticed that she was struggling to breathe. That's when Vasquez rushed their baby to Children's Hospital. Showing up to the ER, we seen a lot of cars that were like, oh my God, it's a packed in here. We walked in, there was just a bunch of babies in there. It took doctors 12 hours to diagnose Zaley with RSV and bronchitis. You can kind of see uh, her lungs kind of, she was making like an extra push towards it. Right now, the family is taking Zaley to the doctor every two days. It's been about two weeks since she got RSV, but she uh, she's still at home with oxygen. Her oxygen level range needs to increase from 88% to more than 94%. Hopefully we can get it off within the next two days or however long she needs it. 